guys welcome to today's video we are headed to the sales barn we're excited we're gonna see if they have something that we might uh, that might be good for us Sam said that we could get goats because we have a whole other farm that we're gonna start exploring with you guys as soon as we get the horses home because there's a lot to explore and we haven't even hardly explored it but Sam said like some of the fields that we're not using for our horses are so overridden with weeds and so overridden with 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 grass and stuff that he said goats would be perfect for that and we have like a whole barn we could put them in we have like an automatic water in that barn it would be just so easy to get goats but I want to be really picky on if we get goats I want to be really picky on what kind we get Sylvia and I want a very specific kind and we probably want to start we probably want to get ones that are a bit young so we can bond with them anyway we're gonna go and we're gonna see what they have who knows if we'll find anything it's late in the season it usually everything that we want to buy gets so like usually everything gets sold up in the spring when like all the babies are born or we'll see we're, we're just gonna see we are headed to the chicken guy I don't mind if we have to wait to get goats till the spring I kind of want to wait if they have a baby goose we're getting it if they have another baby goose we're getting it but baby season is over all right there's babies you're cute. Oh, they're guinea pigs. I just saw them again. Babies. Like, younger ones. Little mini ducks? There's three of them and then there's four big ducks. Do you have any runner ducks in there? Uh, no, I don't think so. I might be half runner, but... Be half? Yeah, that's, that's, that's the same. That's, do you want that one? Okay. Yeah, the small ones. Yeah, they're called ducks. There's three of them. So those are little tiny ducks. Yeah, they'll be in that wooden box there. There's three snowy drakes there. Oh yeah, so those ducks will look like that, Sophie. Those are so cute. They are adorable. I want it. All right, how much are they? Oh, here you go, honey. Whatever you want. Whatever you think. Uh, 25, all right? Okay. They're yellow. They're really cute. I'm going to get one that's like small because you want to raise it so that it's yours. Yeah, so it's like bonded to me. All right, so we have some choices. Look at this one. What do you like, sister? What do you like? I think you should get a young one too. Yeah, because then they'll be bonded. Yeah, wait. They kind of look like quails. Sophie really wants a quail, but we're not getting a quail. Are these quails? They look like quails. No, they look like guineas to me. They're really yeah, that's cute. They are guineas. <laughs> the other side's turkeys. Oh. This is turkeys? Pardon? Yeah, these... the little wee ones are turkeys, the bigger ones are guineas. Alright, so what are you going to get? What kind of ducks are these little blonde things? Pecans. Pecans. What do they look like? I can't even. They're the big white guys right there. Oh, they look like that. Yep. Big oh, white we should get that. <laughs> okay. Well, All right. This is a very obviously you can't sex them at this no, age. No, it's too hard at that pick age. Pick the smallest one <laughs> because the smallest. The... I'll just pick the one that I don't like, and then it'll be a girl. That's yeah. Very, very good, eh? <laughs> yeah. Every time she picks for something that she loves, it's a boy. Always a rooster or a male. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're not like a chicken where you can do it into your thing with the feathers, eh? Yeah. You know what they are. Yeah. It's got blue eyes, I'm taking it. It's got blue eyes? Yep. So that is going to look like those big things. It I like it. Eyes. All right, all right, let's see how much he is. All right, we're going to go look at goats. Oh my gosh, today I don't think we're going to find anything. We found horses. Wow, you guys are huge. You're huge. Wow. I'm glad you got a big pen though. Instead of a little stall. All right, so these are the horses. We met our friends here again. <laughs> That's a big one though. Look how big that horse is. Yeah, we should go in there. No, just joking. No, not. Oh, look at the baby cows. <laughs> yeah, all right, going up. <laughs> if you want to see them, you got to be able to see them. Look at how huge they look. We want to look at you. So this guy looks like he's got some issues in the back end. Really cute though. Aww, it's so 
Oh, because he's in love. I gotta take a video of this. Wow. We like this one. But. I wish they actually. Okay. It's okay. What do you see? Like a hernia? Yeah, like under the on that side of his belly. See yeah. it? Oh yeah, that's not a hernia, or at least it's not an umbilical hernia. Hi, baby. This one's so okay. Sweet. You think it's sweet? It seems wound up. It's just scared. Now. Yeah, I think it's just scared. You're really cute. This one's a girl? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, you guys are good at looking. <laughs> I can't see under there. Yeah. One single goat. Oh. It wasn't Hi. a bunch of cows. All right, let's go look at the goats. Okay. <laughs> the day I think we're not going to find anything. We want these. It's that girl is here. So these are probably boys. We don't want boys. So that's that will determine us. Yeah, so we saw our friend. Every time she's here, they always have really good stuff. Hi, baby. These are cute, but we like those ones. I mean, I'm happy. Look, okay, that one has, that one's a boy for sure. I feel like every animal that comes here are boys. Can move over. <laughs> Oh. So comment below. Well, if you were gonna get a goat, what kind of goat would you get? Hi, yeah, baby. I think I want to wait till spring hey, and no. get like younger goats. All right. So uh, that was interesting. Like I honestly didn't think we'd find anything good there today, and then poof, there was horses. Sadly, Sophie's duck and goose are gone. And it has been awful. Like us dealing with it, it's just been awful. Like it's been awful. And we miss them so much, like so much. So I told her like, we're probably never gonna find another baby goose. And, cause it's past baby season. And then I said like, I promise now that we're set up better, especially with the chicken coop, um, we will get another goose and another duck. And she said, okay, we'll go on Tuesday. And I said, there's not gonna be any baby geese on Tuesday. Like there's just not. They're, every time we go, they never have them. They had them once in the spring. I assume they all got so old. We went and they had baby geese. <laughs> and they had baby ducks, a lot of them. So anyways, now that we're set up a little bit better and we see where we went wrong, like where we lived before, was so close to town that there was hardly any wildlife. Like you could, so close to the road, yeah. yeah, so close to the road and so close to like people, there was hardly any wildlife. You could hear coyotes way off in the distance, but you couldn't like nothing ever bad ever ever happened. For sure, we know that there are are creatures that come and stalk them, stalk us in the night. <laughs> So she got a duck and a goose and hopefully we can make them our own and make them friendly and and but we'll still always miss our duck and our goose, especially our goose. And if this goose goes well, we're gonna give it a hatch another goose in the spring. Um, but anyway, the goose we got was a better kind, is the kind that we like. It's one of those ones that are really fluffy, like that have furry. I'll put a picture here. This is the duck. And that's the duck. <laughs> the goose is really quiet. What I'm do a, I name it? I'm a goose lover. What are you naming the goose? Zoe. Zoe. Okay, we'll introduce them to you guys when we get home. Sophie's worried that the Come duck. On, oops, Sophie's worried that the that the duck won't Come follow on. her. Come on, baby. Come on, Zara. Come on, Zara. All ducks Come follow. Come on. Come on. You're so shy. All right, okay, let's see her. the goose. Hi, Zoe. Oh, she's so sweet. Hi, Zoe. So she's a little bit bigger than our goose was. Not much. Hi, baby. She's so cute. Wait, don't go over there yet. Wait. Hi, pretty girl. So she's been free range oh, on grass. No. I, I love her. So she's a Peking duck crossed with a smooth coat duck goose goose so she might not have so she might not have like a lot of come on zoe of feathers on oh, her belly so pretty. come here here let them introduce how about you baby oh it's so quiet hi baby come here 
Ah! Oops, Sophie has her work cut out for her. This one already loves me. Yeah, most. the duck loves her, but she's gonna have to oh, get baby. the goose used to her. Hi, Goose Goose. Hi, Zoe. He looks like he could use a swim. He's Hi. a little dirty. The barn is looking less and less like our barn. What are you doing over there? Eh? You're going on over there to poop, haven't you? He's like, don't look at me. Hi, Willow. Hi, sweet girl. Store lost a shoe and the farrier is coming today. I have a metal detector. The girls and I and Sam even, how does this work? We're out in the field yesterday looking for it and I went out another day looking for it. I can't find the stupid thing. But last night I had a dream and I dreamed me walking in the field carrying something in a certain area of the field. So I'm gonna go and just look and see if that's where the shoe is. It's a long shot, but I'm willing to take it. I have somebody come to help me. In fact, they're all coming closer to me. <laughs> they're like, I'm here, what do you need? I need a shoe. Can you find me a shoe? Lead me to a shoe. She wants to smell this. It's just, <laughs> it doesn't stink. It's just a metal detector. So her mom looked like this too. Her, her mom was a Palomino on the top. She had a big blanket. Appaloosa spot on her bum and then she was all white underneath so see how she's all white underneath I suspect she'll stay like that but she'll definitely darken up I didn't find the shoe we are all set storm is ready to be back in business I keep watching that butt to make sure that he's maintaining a little bit of his muscle we haven't re he hasn't really had like a lesson or a good ride in the last two weeks there was a heat wave a smog advisory that you shouldn't ride your horses in and then there was a heat went right into a heat wave so we missed that whole week and then this week he was supposed to ride and lost his shoe so anyway such as horses you ready to go back out with your friends he's like no i want to go on my stall he made bugs out there yeah i'll oh, put his fly mask on he gladly came to me. yeah this guy actually looks forward to going into his stall you like your stall huh so if you put it on him you ride him he might not be your horse. Does that know how to spin? He does. He's a spinner. I don't know how to tell him. I saw this, this comment, this young, I think she's young. She must be young. This girl on TikTok, she was commenting saying that Penny was skin and bones. And then we put a grazing muzzle on her in the field, even though she was skin and bones. And it was back in the spring when the grass is just starting to come up. And if, and I guess a lot of people don't know that that first grass that comes up in spring is really high in sugar. It's super distressed. And um, Penny was starting to get really crusty. And even though her weight has almost always been good, she's really good at managing her weight. Even though she eats a lot, like she's always eating, she manages her weight. She's always really got a good healthy weight. Aw, look, she's calling to him. I've never seen her do that before. Or maybe she's calling to me, but I think she's, she's calling, calling to him. Store. So anyways, I put a grazing muzzle on her for a few weeks and only at certain times because I still let her eat the grass. She likes to be out in the grass with the other horse. Like she liked, she liked, she's, she loves being out in the big field and she loved being with Chino. So I still put her out there after she's done her breakfast and I would let her go out there with a grazing muzzle, but she was super crusty and that spring grass is so bad for laminitis that we didn't want to cause a problem like we didn't want her the, avoiding laminitis is so much easier than curing it so i was extra careful but this girl on tiktok was saying like you put a grazing muzzle on your horse and she was skin and bones and i'm like holy moly like it's just an example of how when you don't know you just don't know like you probably easier to ask me why there was a crazy muscle on her than to assume that she was being starved I guess I guess that's what she's implying I don't know but Penny's never been skin and bone she's always been a really good weight that's one thing I love about her she's an easy keeper but she doesn't like Gina will gain a lot of weight whereas Penny is really good so while the farrier is here putting Storm's shoe back on honey was running around like she was bolting around the whole field she had so much energy 
and then she turned a corner too tight and she slipped and then she just laid there she landed on the ground didn't even miss a beat rolled over a couple of times like i didn't fall i meant to do that and then i went to check on her she's like whoa ninja moves <laughs> yeah, she's funny she's like,